I'm Brandon Bassett. I work at the Marine Mammal Pathobiology Lab, which is a field station of the Fish and Wildlife Research Institute. Uh, my official title is the Manatee Mortality Database Curator. So a large part of my job is manatee necropsy, which is an animal autopsy. We also do manatee and dolphin rescues. Uh, but when we're not doing rescues or necropsies, a really big part of my job is managing the mortality data. I'll edit the necropsy reports, also enter all the data into the Manatee Mortality Database, which currently has almost 11,000 manatees recorded in it as well as other smaller projects such as organizing uh, genetics collection. Um, I'm helping out with ear bone aging, research a little bit, um, different things like that. So a large part of the job that we do here is collecting data to send to our management up in Tallahassee. And then they'll make decisions such as, do we need more speed zones in certain areas or less speed zones? Do we need more regulations in some areas? And so all of the necropsy data we collect goes to them and we'll be able to do searches such as are boat strikes, boat strike deaths increasing in some counties, are monofilament entanglements increasing in some counties, things like that. And without all of that information in the database, we wouldn't be able to provide management with the information they need. Uh, one of my favorite rescues was a little orphan calf. Um, the zoo nicknamed her Key. We rescued her from um, up in Citrus County, took her to Lowry Park Zoo. Two days later, we rescued a pregnant mom that had been hit by a boat over on the east coast of the state, brought her to Lowry Park. She gave birth to her own calf, um, like I think two or three days later. Lowry Park Zoo put the little key manatee with that mom and her baby, and she adopted her. And she raised that manatee up and she was seen last year with a calf of her own. So the, it was really exciting to know that we rescued the baby manatee and that baby manatee is now um, continuing the species. Ever since I was very young, I really um, enjoyed the ocean in general, uh, marine mammals, dolphins specifically. I'm not really sure what triggered it because I, as a child, I can't remember ever actually going to the ocean, but I'd studied them, you know, watched documentaries, uh, read books about them, and it just always intrigued me a lot. So these kinds of fields are, um, a lot of people are very interested in them, uh, very competitive. I would say to set yourself apart, experience is what you need. Start trying to volunteer. Even if you can't volunteer with marine mammals specifically, any sort of large animal experience will count for a lot. 